Whilst I was studying computer science at Queen's University, I started my placement here at doing various roles between software development and QA engineer. When I went back to Queen's, the idea was that um, I would develop a cancer cell counting algorithm as a part of my final year thesis. So the project that I worked on was a really important piece of work and it was really, really personal to me. Cancer affects everyone's lives. Um, I've had a broad experience with multiple programming languages, which means I can work in between different products and work in between different technologies. There's a lot to learn. Every day is a school day. That's one of the most important aspects for me is to grow as a person and to build on my skills. Digital pathology is the digitalization of pathology slides. That allows pathologists to run algorithms on slides, share slides across industry experts. It allows a quicker diagnosis. This means that we have a more consistent approach and this will help with molecular diagnosis and ultimately lead to bespoke treatments for, for patients. Our products are sort of geared towards research at the moment, but that's the ultimate goal, so you want to be able to help people. I think the quality that we bring to a, a single product and the amount of features that, that we implement in each release is, is astronomical. It's not just little things that might help, they, they will help. We did have the opportunity to go to a hospital to see the pathologist daily work life. It's, it's very, very stressful actually. And at that time, there was actually somebody in the operation room and the sample came down and the pathologist had to make a diagnosis there and then because they needed to, to know whether they needed to remove this tissue or not, if it was malignant. It, it just makes you realise the impact that, that could be made with digitisation and the automation of this process. We have a really dynamic team, just really, really talented people with a shared goal. I really love how we can combine technology and innovation in order to help improve people's lives.